get advice. To ask Jennifer, you should take your advice. Yes, <laughs> was a very good advice to know well. You all came as a, came in time here and tell us some. Um, hey, hey, watch. You know, well, don't go and look for boyfriend yet though, maybe, whatever. Just, you know, work to amount, amount your community yet. And, you know, teach the younger ones things like what you know, you know, whatever. And, um, it seems like, you know, <laughs> you all was like sisters with us. Um, since all it was inside here and we were so pleased then. Having collected the data, we now need to share that data in a very analytical way to explain to the community what this means, what this data means. When they know this, when any plan is put into place, any policy issues taken, they understand this and they're able to follow through on it. Two years ago we left here and we did a lot of work writing up all of the information we got over the nine months that Nicola, Gabrielle, Shada, Rishi spent with you and among you. We're hoping to share what we experienced here through the writings with you. We appreciate, you know, having the members of the universities, the West Indies, and the other players here today. You know, we want to say a special thanks to them. It has been about two years that they were here in this community doing their research. Basically, we, I, was, I was thinking that is gender studies. But today I, I learned, you know, there's more than gender studies in this community that was taking place. I hope that if anybody does look at the books, they'll be able to like, tell us what they like and what they don't like. I think that it was a bit too personal that to get the people life heard out in the public like that, I find it was very scary. I believe here. always you have started when make a better book than that. You know, if, if you really need to make a book inside, you could come and ask the people and, you know, go about people who carry about and tell you about good things, but not bad things. You know, everybody have the right to express themselves, but you know, when you document it, then you have it there. I don't think people want to see that as, as a legacy. But I mean, to say, is, is it truth? Is it truth what you were saying? But I mean, we have to see it as a challenge. We're hoping that this research will bring to the forefront the social, economic aspects of community and the people, and importantly, the gender aspects of the community. We will never really know if we made a difference. Every group of researchers only ever gets to know some people in a village very well, not everyone. It's been two years now, and I just it's nice that this video is being done, but I am worried and concerned that as a lot of the other information that has been researched in this area. It will remain on a shelf and it won't actually be used by the communities for change. They benefited from us creating an awareness of different things, of the use of the swamp, of the importance of the swamp and the benefits to doing, having sustainable agricultural practices. But I think within the younger members of the population, we have created some awareness and they, in some small way, will implement what they learn. I don't want anybody to get the idea that we knew what we were beginning with. It was very experimental. We were trying to develop a methodology that others could use and that we could learn from. So it was very much a learning experience. We felt, for example, that gender analysis could allow us to look at the people who lived in the swamp and their differential experience, both socially, culturally, and also in relation to the environment. Mm -hmm.